purpose of this show, the purpose of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle. Let's go. Welcome back to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Ewell. And today, we're going to be talking about following the recipe. So as we get into today's episode, um, what I'd like to do is just call out who this episode is for. This is for, you know, the, the business owner that's struggling inside of his business. He wants to grow his business. Uh, but he comes and he hires a coach to help him grow his business, whether it be, you know, a marketing person. He just hires a coach. Let's just say that he hires a coach to help him with a specific problem inside of his business. Um, and the coach offers up a recipe. And this recipe is one that is proven. It's one that will get you results. But it's one that this person refuses to follow. And so if you're listening to this and maybe, you know, you've hired someone inside of your life in some area and they've gave you a recipe and you chose not to follow it and you wondered why you didn't get the results, I'm going to walk you through what the problem is. If you're, you know, maybe a coach or trainer you're going to sit there and probably nod your head and say, man, I've been through this so many times, but I want to segue through this because I think this is a really powerful thing that we have to understand inside of personal development, inside of any coaching that you get into, even if you get into coaching sports, you know, I, I could think of, you know, Bill Belichick is one of the best coaches you know, that there ever was, he can do let he can do more with less talent than anybody we've ever seen. And that's inarguable. But one thing that he has above everyone else, he has this recipe. This recipe is a proven recipe. Uh, he has, you know, he's been to more Super Bowls. He's, you know, had I mean, literally, he's been to more Super Bowls than any other coach. He's won other, more Super Bowls than any other coach, but he's done it with a winning recipe. See, the winning recipe for him is results. The winning recipe for you may be results inside of your business when we make more money. It may be results inside of your you know, health, losing weight, but whatever that is, there is a result that you can expect to get from following a recipe. See, what I've found is this. People want the results. Listen, like that's inarguable. People want to make more money. People want to lose weight. People want to get healthy. People want to change their marriage. They want to have more sex. They want to have more intimacy. But the one thing that they don't want to do is follow the recipe. See, I hear this almost every single day. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better leader. I want to be a better businessman. I want to be a better marketer. I want to get more leads. I want more clients. Jesse, I just need a system to follow and I'll just be successful. I just need a plan. I, I just need to do what you're doing. But here is the problem that I see with most business owners, most entrepreneurs, most men, most people, let's just say business owners, let's just say entrepreneurs will not follow the recipe. See, they are given this recipe so that they can be successful. 
And the funny thing is, is they're paying top dollar for this recipe. They're not paying like a little bit of money. They're paying a lot of money for this. But they will only follow the part that they are comfortable with. They will only follow the part that they think actually applies to them. They will only the follow the things that they find comfort in. And here's the thing is, you know, it's not really their fault because we've been taught by a society, by marketing, that our plan is going to be easy. Just follow my diet and you'll lose 20, 30, 45 pounds in a matter of 30 to 60 days. Just follow my business advice and you'll have endless amount of leads. Just follow whatever I tell you to do and you will get the result. See, what they don't see is the ingredients that you are using. You see, we could both make the exact same thing and we could use almost identical agreement ingredients, but we could maybe get them from a different place. But your ingredients determines the quality of the final result of the final product, meaning you can follow the recipe you can get it close, but if you're using cheap ingredients, you know, maybe, you know, if you're a health and fitness person, you use cheap food versus organic, you use, you know, cheap marketing tap tactics versus value tactics, whatever you're making will not be the same. And, and the reason I like to compare this to cooking is one of the, one of my passions is is cooking. Like I love to cook. I love to bake. And these things you may find uh, really funny, but I could, I always love to do this because I love to see the feedback I get from other people. See, and that's one of the things that I really love about cooking is it's simple and it's easy. But if you don't follow the recipe, it's not so simple and it's not so easy. How many times have you decided what you're going to cook and it didn't turn out quite the way you wanted? Maybe it was when you were baking, you know, maybe you were barbecuing something or whatever. But oftentimes I've I've caught myself doing this sometimes when I make the first recipe or the first time I make something. You know, I sit there and think, man, what what went wrong? Now, what did I do wrong in this recipe? Where did it go wrong? What went right? You know, so I kind of scan over and and just see, hey, where did I where did I follow this and where did I like kind of fall off? But like did I forget something? Did I skip over something? Because these are the questions that are super important for me to begin to understand because just like the recipe of your business, just like the recipe of following a nutrition plan, just like the recipe of, you know, having a better relationship, better sex life with your spouse, there is going to be a recipe that you can follow. But what often happens when we cook or we, you know, follow a recipe and we decide that we're going to do things our own way. We uh, maybe we missed a, a couple things, um, but you really think about it this way: for me to change any recipe, whether it be in cooking, whether it be in business, whether it be in fitness, whether it be in spirituality, whether it be in my marriage, for me to change a recipe, I have to have had to cook the original recipe first. And so what does that mean? That means the first couple times I actually make this recipe, what I really need to work on is, is the end result. What is the end result that I'm after? Well, if it was food, it would taste a certain way. If it was a you know me baking something, it would be being able to share that experience with everyone else and making sure that they liked it. And so... I want you to think about this inside of yourself before you decide to change any recipe, whether it be in business, uh, whether it be in your health and fitness, whether it be in your marriage, make sure that you have gotten the original result 
that you were promised in the beginning. Make sure that you're following along to get the result that you actually wanted. So what I decided to do is I really wanted to write down five steps to follow any recipe to get you the results that you ultimately want. See, step one is this. These are like my five rules. Always start with the original recipe. Like I can't think of how much more important this is when you you hire someone, when you, you know, cook something, when you hire an expert, you always want to follow the original recipe. Uh, this is the most important thing. Step number two is before you make any changes, make sure that you've gotten the results that you originally promised. Make sure that you got the end result that you were originally promised. So, uh, you know, yeah, you might have a better way of doing things, or you maybe haven't done it this way before, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to work. And remember, this is, you know, oftentimes, what you see is the end result. What you don't see is the work that went into that. And so if you think that changes should be made, the first thing you need to do is follow the original recipe. The second thing you need to do is before you make any changes, get the results that you originally wanted. And then out of the first one, so think about this. We have to prove the results that you can get. So there's no way that you can sign up for something and someone says, hey, follow this system. These are the results you can get. You can't follow it halfway and get halfway there and then decide, well, I'm going to do my own thing because you're no longer following the recipe. Part three of this is make the changes necessary and only do small tweaks. So once you follow the original recipe, once you've gotten the results, only then can you go in and make small tweaks or small changes. Now think about inside of some recipes. If I was making pancakes, if I just, you know, change one ingredient, a small amount, I could eventually, I could end up with waffles. And so we only want to make small tweaks because the slightest tweak can make a huge difference, either good or bad. The other thing is this, work on perfecting the recipe. This is one thing that, you know, I think a lot of people struggle with is in order for me to perfect a recipe, I have to follow the original one. I have to prove that it gets results. And then I have to also prove that any type of tweaks that I've made, that it's actually adding value to the recipe. You know, one thing I, I think about is, you know, there's some secrets inside of baking, you know, if you're making chocolate chip cookies, but they're small tweaks, they're small, like literally adding like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of like, you know, a cream of tartar can make your chocolate chip cookie taste completely different. You know, leaving your steak on for another like two to three minutes can take it from you know, medium rare to medium or medium to well done. So the smallest tweaks, you can end up with something completely different. The other thing on this is feedback. See, feedback is really the taste test, the taste test of how something turned out. What are my results with this recipe that I followed and I've tweaked? Now, the other thing that you have to understand is you can't be the only one taste testing. You have to have others taste test. And I can remember, uh, you know, so many times in my life baking things for people or making things for people. And the one thing I really wanted to know was, what, what is your feedback? Like, hey, tell me how this tastes. Do you like it? Is it good? And I would ask them like 10 different ways so I could get feedback and really understand, you know, what they're experiencing. And so, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to go through all five of these one more time. So number one, always start with the original recipe. This is a must. Before you make a change, make sure that you got results. Um, once you've done those two things, then you can make some small tweaks, small changes, uh, and then work on perfecting the recipe from there. And then the last part is get feedback, not just from you, um, but other people 
on how your results are turning out or how your results are tasting, if it's food. Um, and then the last part of this, I'm going to just ask you a question. Where in your life are you expecting a result and you're not actually following the recipe? Maybe it's inside of your fitness and nutrition. Maybe it's inside of your marriage. Maybe it's inside of your spirituality. Maybe it's inside of your business and marketing. You know, many of the people that I work with every single day usually are not following a recipe in one of those areas. And they come to me because they want to take their results to the next level. So I just, you know, this was a powerful lesson that I walked through uh, this week. It kept coming up over and over. And I wanted to share this with you guys. If you have any questions on this, uh, please let me know. If you want to join a group of like-minded business owners, badass business owners, who literally want to take their life and their business to the next level, uh, join my group called Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets on Facebook. Uh, if you you know check out the show notes, it's right in the comments. Click on it. Go directly to my Facebook page, and you can get set up with that. And We have some cool things uh, to really start turning your Facebook into an actual business ignition machine. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day. The purpose of this show, the purpose of this show. is to guide, you to, realign guide you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.